You'll learn how to achieve the locked on stabilization effect from the color module entirely for free. This effect allows you to keep a specific object or area, such as a person's face, fixed on the screen while everything else moves around it, creating a very curious and easy to achieve effect. Let's get started. In this example, we're going to perform a stabilization considering the movement of a woman's face as she runs. The more centered the area you want to stabilize, the better. Simply put, try to keep the face more or less in the same place and not let it move all over the frame. First, we go to the color module of DaVinci Resolve. Once inside the color module, we need to head to the tracking menu, Tracker. By default, it's set to Tracker Windows mode. We can change the tracking mode using these icons here. We'll switch modes and select Stabilizer. Next, we click on these small dots and select the classic stabilizer option. This stabilizer will allow us to stabilize just the person's face. Once we have the stabilizer set to classic mode, we go to this little tab below, and here we'll have two options, track by points or track by cloud. I recommend choosing the point cloud tracking option. This way, we'll have more tracking points, and if any point stops following the movement of the face, we'll have other support points that will continue tracking the face throughout the video. Then, we need to activate the Interactive Mode checkbox to display all the tracking points in our video. Upon activating the checkbox, a lot of crosses will appear in the viewer. These crosses are the tracking points responsible for following the video's movement, thus allowing us to track. To achieve the locked-on stabilization effect, we're only interested in following the movement of the face. To select just the face area, we click on this small insert icon. Now, we left-click on the face and select the entire area we wish to track. Once we've selected the face with this square, we'll see that we still have all the tracking points in the video. We need to remove these crosses. To delete them, we'll click on the icon, remove all tracking points from the video. Perfect! Everything is now deleted. Lastly, to create tracking points only within the square we made on the face, we have to click again on the insert icon. Now, as we can see, we only have tracking points on the face, which is what we're interested in. Once this is done, we can begin the tracking process. To perform the tracking, we need to click on this icon with two arrows to track throughout the whole video, forwards and backwards. We click, and DaVinci Resolve will do all the tracking momentarily. It usually doesn't take long. If we review the video, we'll see that the crosses have latched onto the face and follow the movement perfectly. We can see that some of them couldn't follow the face, but that's not a problem. As long as there are several that could follow the movement, the tracking will be correct. Now we can perform the locked on stabilization effect. We simply have to click on the stabilize button. To perform the locked on stabilization effect, it's always necessary to zoom in on the video. It's totally normal, but keep it in mind since we'll lose a bit of video information. If you can record the video at high resolutions like 4K or 8K, even better. And now upon playing the video, we'll have our locked on effect. If we place the mouse cursor over the eye, we can see that indeed, the face remains in the same place throughout the video, creating this curious and striking effect. In case you don't want it to zoom in too much and prefer the effect to be a bit more subtle, you can reduce the effect's intensity in the strength section. For example, I'm going to reduce the intensity and set a value of 60. Whenever we modify this value, it's necessary to click on the Stabilize button again for the changes to apply. And that's it! That's how easy it is to achieve the locked-on stabilization effect in the color module without using Fusion. I hope you liked this video, and as always, here's a playlist with more than 60 free tutorials where you can learn a bunch of DaVinci Resolve effects. See you in the next video!